This is a Windows Phone 7 game review of Mars Runner, which is available in the marketplace for free. Mars Runner is basically Cube Runner for Windows Phone 7, and since there hasn't been a Cube Runner version for Windows Phone 7 yet, this is a really great game and a lot of fun. And so as you see, it has some 3D graphics that are Mars style here, so it kind of has a scenery set to the whole Cube Runner idea. But once you get going, it's exactly the same as Cube Runner. However, you can tap and hold the screen and use that little split time slowdown thing. But you only have a certain amount up there, and that's kept track of with that little meter up at the top. And you just keep on going for as high of a score as possible. There is an advertisement in the game, but the game's free, and you barely even notice the advertisement, so. It's a pretty good deal. And there's some variation of the levels here, like for these you have to go in and out here. And then once you hit sign, you are told your score here and how long you lasted. And then you can check out the main menu and they have leaderboards here. They have your weekly leaderboards or all time leaderboards. And it includes a great feature where you can also look at your own scores here and just simply find your own score with one click of a button. And you can see every single score instead of only loading like the top 50 or something. And the game also has some really awesome trophies. They're not Xbox Live trophies or anything, but they're pretty fun to just like unlock yourself. Like there's for playing 25 games, playing 100 games, there's ones for lasting a certain amount of time, five minutes, on the different difficulties, and it actually tells you what you've gotten before, like one minute and eleven seconds there, so that's pretty fun. And there's also this, fly through 150 tunnels, um, fly five minutes without warping, and then get all the other achievements, and you'll get that ultimate one. So, it has some pretty cool lasting value because of the leaderboards, and because of the different difficulties here, and because of those trophies. And the difference in difficulties is actually pretty noticeable. The game r always runs at a pretty smooth speed here, and I barely noticed any frame rate issues. This is definitely a really cool take on the Cube Runner idea because it actually gives you a scenery. And it makes you feel like you're part of a mission when you're trying to get through all these little things instead of Cube Runner where you're just going through random cubes. And it has a really snappy interface and it has some music in the background. And overall it's just a really nice and polished game. The whole slow down time warp thing is also pretty cool too. And it's well balanced because you don't always have it all the time since there's the little meter and you have to kind of negotiate how much you should use and at what time. The setup of the levels is actually pretty good and it's completely random but it does become tougher as you go and it becomes pretty fun. The only bad thing is that every single rock looks just like each other so they're all identical and that gets kind of a little annoying visually but otherwise the game is really good and that's a really tiny complaint. So overall if you're looking for a cube runner game you should definitely check out Mars Runner because it's the only cube runner game currently on Windows Phone 7 and it's a really great game. Even if you've never played cube runner before you should check out Mars Runner and you're sure to have a lot of fun with the game. You can find Mars Runner in the marketplace for free.